casualty viewers have gone through an array of emotions during tonight's harrowing episode. Fans have been begging producers for weeks to keep Ian Dean alive following his suicide attempt a few weeks back and now their prayers have been answered. Ian came around on tonight's show and woke up. His first move was declining any visitors which left his sister Jem devastated. The paramedic had been suffering from PTSD and depression following the death of his partner Sam Nichols, Charlotte Salt, and patient Mia this last summer. He attempted to take his own life but was rescued by his co-worker Ruby Spark, Maddie Hill, who rushed him to the emergency department last week. But then the hospital tragically experienced a cyber attack, which put crucial life-saving facilities and DNS life at risk. Despite all odds being stacked up against him, the character played by Michael Stevenson has survived but fans were left furious with his sister's reaction. Riled up with emotions, viewers were left shocked following a scene between Jem and her and Ian's mum. After a huge row broke out, their mum accused Jem of not being there enough for Ian. In a fit of rage, Jem stormed into Ian's ward despite him asking for not visitors and preceded the scream at her older brother. The nurse deemed her brother selfish for trying to take his own life and accused him of saying goodbye to their mum, but not to her. Fans rushed to Twitter furious with Jem's reaction. One wrote, Jem is so selfish, making Ian's suicide all about her. Another wrote, calling someone selfish for trying to take their life is disgusting. Others rushed to defend the character, one hit back, suicide doesn't just affect the person who feels they want to. It affects their family, their friends. Everybody deals with grief differently. The way they've written Jem shows that emotion and talking is just important for loved ones. For emotional support you can call the Samaritans 24-hour helpline on 116 123, email joe at samaritans.org, visit a Samaritans branch in person or go to the Samaritans website.